What's going on, everyone? Here with my brother Sam, our good friend Andrew, in Glacier National Park. Starting yes, a uh, close to 60 mile loop, five nights, six days, late September. Weather looks uh, moody. Yeah. Just like the other year in the winds. <laughs> Lost our fourth member, Nick, tweaked his back earlier this week, so he can't be with us. So shout out to Nick. We miss you, buddy. Rest in peace, Nick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we love you, man. Yeah, we love you, dude. Next time. Next time. Tonight we're headed to Cosley Lake. It's about 14 and a half miles. I'm excited. You guys excited? Absolutely. Yes, oh Absolutely. yeah. Let's get it. side of ptarmigan. Ptarmigan, as I say, ptarmigan, ptarmigan. Yeah, the peace island like pterodactyl. Ptarmigan tunnel. Two of our campsites that we originally had permits for are currently shut down, MOJ and uh, 50 Mountain due to excessive bear activity. So we did get rerouted a little, uh, so that's fun. Uh, added a big 20 mile, 6,000 foot of gain day on our fifth day, but uh, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> this is probably the nicest weather we're gonna have out here according to the forecast anyway. Uh, as the week goes on, it just slowly starts to kind of deteriorate. So fingers crossed that it holds out for us a little and uh, we're pretty well prepared if it doesn't. All right, bub? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Woo. All right. There we go. There we go. There we go. Uh. She's a little bouncy. <laughs> a little warbly. A little drunk. Yeah. slept pretty hard it's almost nine o'clock <laughs> we only have about five miles to hike today so we decided to get to sleep we needed it enjoy a chill morning get some breakfast this view is pretty awesome and uh pack up and hit the trail i think it's going to be another beautiful day 
possible rain this afternoon, possible rain tomorrow afternoon, but uh, nothing too threatening, I don't think. We'll see. Beautiful day here. This awesomeness behind me. There's Sam. He's over there, a little rootin' tootin' machine. Rootin' tootin', a lot of tootin', man. How'd you sleep, Bob? Uh, I slept pretty good. For a long time, I was toasty. Roasty. Ooh, that's not bad. <laughs> All morning we're having. Yeah, it's beautiful. What a nice day we are having, boys. <laughs> now, interestingly enough, tonight's campsite, they have us 0.5 miles from the campsite that's closed because of bears. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's about 12 o'clock noon. <laughs> And we're just getting going here, back on trail. We only have five miles to our next campsite. It's a pretty chill day. I believe we're headed to Glens Lake. Glens Lake Head Campground. No campfires. That's an interesting sign to have at a campsite <laughs> that's open. But uh, yeah, should be fine. Yeah, no trouble. All right, we're all set up here. It's a little view out the back of our campsite. About six o'clock. It's kind of miserable outside. Gusty winds, damp, rain off and on. So we'll see what it's doing around eight o'clock. If it's not raining, we'll uh, eat some dinner and shut it down. Otherwise, it's going to be it for tonight. See how it goes. Should be hopefully decent tomorrow morning. crisp morning. It was insanely windy last night. It woke us all up many, many times. Tents were, tents were whipping around. So, tough to sleep like that. And I remember this morning I brought my earplugs. So, if we get another night like that, I'll probably just uh, button up. Hopefully it helps out. We've got camp packed up. I'm gonna go over to the uh, food prep area, get some breakfast, some oatmeal, some coffee. foot of elevation gain over to Kootenai Lake, so uh, not too bad. We're staying there for two nights. What's up, fellas? How'd y'all sleep last night? Poorly, but Off I'm happy. Yeah. <laughs> Off and on. Pretty good, but that wind the was wind in, was wind was very up. very intense. I was not cold. I was not wet. So great. That's good. Yeah. Very noisy though. Yes. Yeah. Definitely feel ready to go though. Right, back on trail. Oh. The sun is shining. Andrew's a little ways ahead of us. He took off a little sooner. We'll catch up with him in a little while. Beautiful morning. That it is, brother. Chilly. Perfect so hiking. Beautiful. Oh, it's gorgeous through here. I know. <laughs> it's gonna be another great, great day.
got some pretty fresh scat here. Seeing like throw up piles with full of berries and stuff. Lots of bear sign. No bear yet. <laughs> Up for a little lunch break in the with some tree cover it's uh it's gotten very damn <clears throat> chilly and wet out here so we're all good. geared up this old double snack break yeah. yeah got another what between four and five miles to camp something like that yeah Kootenai Lake here we come we're allowed to have fires at Kootenai Lake tomorrow tonight tomorrow night but we'll see what the weather does hopefully it evaporates we'll enough we got to pass on the May we'll see about the can yeah <laughs> Yeah, it's cold right now. We gotta get over. Freaking cold, man! It just hit me. Yeah, got me right in my loins. <laughs> right in the little loins. Oh. Next to a uh, pretty loud body of water, and it's raining in uh, prime grizzly bear habitat. Making noise, let yourself be uh, heard and seen and known best you can. There's home for the next two nights, Kootenai Lake. Yeehaw. Got a pretty epic view right out of our campsite here by the lake. About 8.30 in the morning, nice to sleep in. It's cloudy and breezy. Got pretty much a zero day today, just hanging out in camp all day. Do a little exploring, find some cool photos and uh, time lapses and whatnot. Yeah, just gonna lay low. It's supposed to be pretty shitty all afternoon, rain. And tomorrow's the big day, 20 miler. It's supposed to clear up for us a little bit, so hopefully it does. Maybe we'll get a little fire going, have some breakfast. Just hang out, chill. I like that we have a fire, boys. I sure do too. That is neat. That's fantastic, Bob. It's raging fire. Well, you know, raging. Well, it's relative. About 5.30 a.m. Friday morning. Big 20 mile day, 6,000 foot avert. Right now it's a uh, wintry mix, sounds like sleep, rain, maybe a little snow. It's cold, <laughs> warm in here. We gotta get an early start with this mileage, so. I'm gonna pack up camp, hit the trail, hopefully by like 6.30. Hike until it's daylight, stop and eat breakfast somewhere. Whew. It's gonna be a great day. Hiking through grizzly country in the dark. Awesome. <laughs> it's not raining right now. It's a huge plus. The brush is soaked. So we're gonna get nice and wet climbing out of this forest, but we should, we should be able to dry off later today. Big day, boys, big day. Sorry. Oh. Coming through.
Ah, it's raining again. Yeah. Yo, bub. The well, sunshine will be sweet soon. How we doing, brethren? Doing pretty good. A little soggy, but all things considered. Doing good. There's a fresh print. Oh, I can see it from back here. Yeah. They're filling up with water, but I can see them. Yeah. Yep. Ooh. Definitely just a little bit more on high alert at all times. Particularly early morning like this. No visibility. When it's hard to see, yeah. Hard to hear, you got all your hood up and everything. Hey boo boo, come through. <laughs> hey boo boo. It had to be the last thing through here cause nothing squashed over it. We're all going to the same place, neat. Coming up on the tallest portion of the uh, entire trek. Just around this bridge through this saddle. Don't slip. We are at the highest point of our entire trek. <laughs> At 7,000, uh, no, less than 8,000 feet. Nice but it's a big climb. The views are insane. Goodness gracious. So much cooler in person. Man. <laughs> Coming down off this mountain a little, the sun's come out. Just had a nice lunch, refueled a bit, lightened the load a little. We're feeling good. Feeling real good. Feeling real good. Pretty good. No filter. No problems. We got a spring coming right out the top of the mountain. Kind of like the midway point of the mountain, just traversing across out of the forest. And we got all these views. So good. Look at that bowl. Wow.
about uh, 15 miles in for the day. About five more to go. I am really impressed with how well we're all doing. I mean, <laughs> it's a tough day for uh, for us. You know, we're not, we don't have through hiker legs. We do a good bit of hiking, but certainly not at the through hiker level. But we are, we're crushing it pretty good. So yeah, five more miles to camp. We should roll in, I don't know, six o'clock at this pace. I'm really enjoying, really trying to take this in and savor the moment. Big day, Indeed. but we uh, we kicked its ass pretty good for yeah. all three of us. It went uh, a lot better than I think we thought it would. Yeah, just didn't see a single person on trail all day long. I think we were the only ones on the High Line Trail today. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Welcome back, Sam. Hola. Sam, anything you'd like to add for this epic day? I thought it was going to be brutal but beautiful, and it was beautiful and only a little brutal for a little bit. I don't know. Manageable. That's a lame ass answer for how good the day was. It was a spectacular day. Yeah, a little over 11 hours, and my Strava said 20, 21.21 miles. Nice. Yeah. I feel all right. Feel pretty good. So, interesting. Pretty good. They were calling for rain at Kootenai. We've got a weather update here. They're calling for snow. So, we might wake up to a nice white blanket. Yeah, we should be good. Mm hmm. We only have to climb a thousand feet and lose twenty seven hundred feet. So you can climb a thousand feet to get out of this campsite. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, that's probably <laughs> it's pretty, down it really in there. Is. It's like from here to the chalet and then a little further to get to the ridge, and, and it's all downhill from there. Any so. final thoughts, fellows, on the on the week? Definitely one of the cooler backpacking trips I've been on. Likewise, it'll have me wanting the next 100%. one for sure. Life is good. Yeah, it is. Especially after a week like this. Mm -hmm. Life is good. Supposed to be. Oh, it's a winter wonderland, boys. <laughs> Peace out, Granite Park campsite. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> another four or five miles of the car looking forward to it just saw a guy in jeans in this environment so <laughs> you know we're close booyah oh, boy. found it bub 
Hell yeah. Mm. Mm. Excellent. <laughs> Thanks a lot for checking out Backcountry Treks. We'll catch you on the next one. <laughs> We're just really happy to be here. You know? Let's go. <laughs>